and liftoff of the Cassini spacecraft on a billion mile trek to Saturn. The Cassini spacecraft is a flagship mission from NASA that was meant to study the Saturnian system, uh, and one of the primary science targets in the Saturnian system is Titan. And uh, Titan is just this explorer's dream. It, it has this fundamental story of exploration behind it and intrigue and mystery. Jupiter Inlet Tracking Station now acquiring data. What really excites me about this paper is both the personal story and the science. Cassini has been in the Saturn system for 10 years collecting data and still surprises us. Some of these new discoveries, such as this particular paper, uh, were done by very early career new scientists that are coming into a mission that's been operating for over a decade. In this particular instance, uh, the original, the science team, when we first saw the images that came down, saw this feature that we're calling the Magic Island now. And uh, initially it was written off as, oh, that's a projection artifact because we only obtain pieces of Titan at a time and then we have to overlay them with old data. Looking at the data and all of a sudden there was this blob that uh, wasn't there in a previous image. And a couple hours later, we had a telecon with the full Cassini radar science team, a lot of professionals on the team. And there was a lot of different hypotheses for what this thing could be, but really uh, no one had a, a good solid explanation for what was going on here. We started to investigate what was this splotch feature, whether it's an image processing error or some sort of artificial, um, an artifact essentially. And uh, that analysis showed that this feature was real. It's a geophysical phenomenon occurring on Titan. Titan does have uh, what we call a hydrological cycle. So that's liquids at the surface, which in my opinion is the most exciting part about Titan because it's the only other world of all the worlds that we've discovered so far in the universe that we know to have liquids that are stable there on the surface. And these liquids, unlike watery earth, are methane and ethane. And they're going through this hydrologic cycle in that they are stored in reservoirs and lakes and seas at both of the poles, but they are also in the atmosphere. So there's an evaporative process where they can move into the atmosphere. And there is rain there. And this is the first place we've ever discovered that has rain happening. Now in the case of the transient feature that we're talking about here, the Magic Island, we uh, concluded that uh, there are four real likely explanations for this feature. One is that they are waves. Another is that they are bubbles that are rising up from the seafloor. The third is that they are solids floating on top of the sea. And the fourth is that they are um, suspended solids, sort of like floating within the sea, um, two to three centimeter size solids. When I decided I wanted to become a planetary scientist, one of the reasons I did that was I wanted to be in the room when we were first looking at data that came down, a part of the real active exploration. And so here I was um, already just a couple years into graduate school and I achieved that goal.